Hi everybody, today I want to show you a self-made watering device, for example for catfish, to improve the quality of the meat before slaughtering. The centerpiece and the basis for this system is an IBC 600. You could also take a bigger one if you want. Just cut an opening so that you can get the fish in and out easily. For warm water fish you need warm water and the tank on top of the IBC is made to prepare the water in the right temperature. The cold water from a garden hose is connected here and a shut off valve like in a toilet supply make sure that this temperature tank will not be overfilled. Next to the valve there is a heater for aquariums, big aquariums, 800 watt, where we can make sure that the water inside this tank is always of the right temperature. And next to the heater we've got a small aquarium pump where we can make sure that we've got a lot of circulation inside this tank so that all the water is heated evenly to the whole volume. The control unit for the heater is outside and here we can adjust temperature as we want during the whole watering process. We control the water flow from the temperature tank to the IBC via this manual valve. Uh, we adjust this valve so that the water inside the tank is exchanged twice a day. Inside the tank there is a net pipe. This makes sure that fish cannot block the outlet of the, of the tank. And inside this net pipe, we've got another one. It's a pipe with small holes in it, 1.5 millimeter holes. And this pipe is connected to the air supply of the membrane pump. And via this tube, we are supplying air during the whole watering process so that the fish have enough oxygen in the water to breathe normally and relaxed. The water level inside the IBC is adjusted by this pipe system. The water is flowing up the pipe to this T and then leaving the system via the hose to the sewer. By exchanging this pipe, the length of this pipe, we can adjust the height of the T and by this we can adjust the height of the water inside the IBC. Very important is this opening. It prevents the siphon effect which otherwise would suck out the entire water out of the IBC. I hope this helps building and improving your own watering device.